In this video, we're going to try and make a stage display that shows all of our different screens at once so the person that runs ProPresenter can see everything that is going on. Let's get started. Okay, so one of the not very well known things about ProPresenter is that we can actually make a screen in here that shows everything at once. So at the moment, we have a congregation screen set up. So think about that like in the room. So the audience, we have a live stream set up. So our lower thirds are getting pushed to our live stream. And we have a stage display or a confidence monitor for those standing on the stage to see as we go along. Now, a lot of people for a church service or an event would like to see all of them at once if they're using ProPresenter so they can see what's going on without having to flick through each different one and keep changing them. So we can actually set up a stage screen that does that. So there are a couple of steps. We do need to set up a new screen configuration. We need to then set up our stage display screen and what we want it to show. And then we can apply it to just here. So number one, we're going to go and configure screens and we're going to add a new stage display. So I'm going to add a new screen. I'm going to add a new placeholder and I'm going to choose a custom size. Now, this is where the maths comes in. So a normal screen, and when I say normal, a common size is 1920 by 1080. Now, we don't want to do any maths on that, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set this up so it has the top screen, the middle screen, and the third screen in a row. If you have more screens than that, you can fit them in. If you've only got two, you can do that. But all I'm going to do is 1920 is across horizontally. 1080 is up and down. So if I go 1080 times 3 is 3240. That is the size of our screens all together. And we might add on a little bit as well. So let's go with 3300. So my placeholder output is going to be 1920 wide. So horizontal by 3300 high, which is a weird size for a screen but it's not actually going to be a real screen. It's just going to be a screen in here. So that's my placeholder done. We can call it something else if we'd like to, but we're just going to leave it like that for now. The next step is we're going to go into our stage editor. So rem remember editing toolbar up here, stage editor for our stage screens. And we're going to add a new screen. It's just going to be blank. And over here in our size, we need to change it to that same size that we just had for our stage screen, which is right here. So these are the sizes of all our stage displays we've put in. And we can just change it from this one, which is our other stage screen for our people standing on the stage to see, to this size here. And you'll see it's really long and skinny, which is what we want, because we want to fit three normal screens on here. So what we're then going to do is we're just going to add in the views. So when I say the views, what the screens are seeing. So screen preview, I want to see the congregation. So that's what's in the room. How high do I want it? Well, I actually want it 1920. I'm then going to go screen preview, my live stream. And if you can't quite drag it over here, if you go to shape in position and size, I can just type in 1920. And then I can type in 1080. And so this one up here, we might make 1080 as well. And so then we're going to put this guy in there and it should fit the perfect width. And our last one we're going to throw in is our confidence monitor or our stage display for in the room. So 1920 by 1080. Enter. And there it is. So he's going to sit down the bottom here. Now they're nicely spaced out. The other thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to throw some labels on there because they won't actually be labeled at all. So text box, I'm going to call this congregation screen. I'm then going to get this one right. So that looks pretty good there. I'm going to copy and paste that. So I'm just going control C, control V. I'm then going to go live stream because that's that one. Copy and paste. And down the bottom here is our stage display. 
Now I'm just going to zoom in here and make sure I've got that right. So it's confidence monitor is our stage display. Live stream is our live stream. And congregation is our congregation. Good, good. So that there should now show us everything. So if I go back to show here in our screen, if I change this to stage screens, you'll see it's not doing what we wanted to because it's showing us this. And in fact, it's showing us the wrong stage display. So we haven't mapped which stage look we want for this stage screen. So if I go into screens, I have all of my stage screens listed. So I have my confidence monitor, which is the one that someone standing on the stage looking out will see. So I might want them to see this one here, which if I go to it, you'll see has like current slide, notes, timers, etc. If you want to know how to build one of these, go and check out our stage display video. And then for our current one, our stage screen is what we called it. We're going to come across and I'm going to choose this blank layout. Now, when I change to stage screen, my blank layout is here. So it's actually showing me what's on the congregation screen, what's on the live stream, and then what's on my stage display for those standing on the stage looking out. So if I come down to a song, that's what's on the congregation screen. That's on my live stream with my lower thirds. And then that's the stage screen that they're seeing from the stage, which is pretty cool and handy. Now, the only downside to this is if your computer is struggling to push all the outputs and do everything already, you won't be able to run this because it's actually pulling three different looks at the same time, which takes up a fair bit of processing power. So just be aware of that. But now you can see everything. You could add four or five if you wanted to, but just take note of the size of this. So because it's long and skinny, I can pull this over. And if you wanted to, you could pull this down and fit it perfectly like that so that you can see everything a bit better. Um, I can actually increase the size of this on my monitor, but if I do drag it all out and make it bigger, what I'm recording will actually be a slightly different size. So it is there, it's kind of handy. We can flick through and you'll see it shows us everything at once so that you don't have to keep changing between these looks and these screens. So really cool feature that's really handy if you wanna make your own stage displays to show everything at once purely for ProPresenter or the person doing this. Or you might have another screen set up next to your ProPresenter computer that's nice and big for your ProPresenter person and your AV person to look at and see at all times so they know what's going on everywhere at once. Really cool idea. Why not give it a go? If you do have any question, got questions, guys, please drop them down below in the comments. Any other video ideas, let us know and we will make them for you and do our best to help you learn ProPresenter quickly. Thanks, guys.